Okay, friends. Well, we are so excited. Mm -hmm. I know I am. <laughs> I'm super excited to have our beautiful friend on here. Um, if you're not muted, I'm going to mute you. So don't be offended. We just have to do that because even if you think you're being quiet, sometimes even ruffling a piece of paper, turning a page to something will create a big echo. And don't worry, I will mute here in a second because I got a little helper today. A little grandbaby Steli Billy's with me today. So first I want to welcome everybody to Lunch and Learn. If it, I see some new people on here, so I'm excited for that. So welcome. We do have a Facebook page if you're new to this, or if you want the recording, usually it takes us about 24 hours. And then the recording, we will, um, with the I'll post it if you found this on Voxer or Facebook, any of those groups I happen to be part of, you can find the recording there. Otherwise, YouTube is just my name. Facebook is called Lunch and Learns, and it has Mary Kay Ash in a red dress. And so you can find previous recordings in anything on the Facebook page that has a speaker. And if they had a handout that they were offering, it's in the comments of that speaker. So I know I've been getting a lot of questions because this has really just been taken off, right? We have so many people joining this and they kind of trickle in through our lunch hour. And um, yeah, it's just such a go-good thing. And so we have our beautiful friend, Faith London today. She's going to share with us and if you're a guest on here, I want you to know, or new, you could be a brand new consultant all the way to national, be part of this. And what I love about this is I just think great minds, right? Great minds think alike, and we can all share ideas. And uh, Faith has been with us since the beginning, I think, pretty much. Um, she's won 17 free cars. Oh, my gosh. Double star achiever multiple times. I, Miss Go Give Award in the Nancy Tejan National Area. I Faith is amazing. She's always on here. Faith, you're always so gracious to answer people's questions in the comments. And this really is a go-give thing for our teachers to do because, it, I mean, they don't really get anything out of this other than sharing with the Mary Kay world and helping everybody, right? And so I just want you to know, friend, I value you. I love you. I appreciate you. Your ideas are incredible. Um, 14 times, ladies, she was in the national uh, sales, Queen's Court of Sales. 138 star consultants. And if, I mean that, I just think we don't make a bigger deal about star stuff sometimes. And that is huge. It's such a huge thing. And so I just want you to know that she has a million accolades, but the biggest thing is she has the biggest incredible heart for this company and for what we're doing in this business. And I just know Mary Kay Ash would be so proud of you. And I just, I love you, friend. I appreciate you. I value your friendship. And I'm just so grateful that you're willing to share all your expertise with us today. So without further ado, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you take over and share. I didn't want to give too much in case any of that was part of your training. I'm like, I'm going to say a few things, but I don't want to give, I know sometimes that's part of your training. And so I want to value that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My beautiful friend. And if you're new and like seeing one picture and you want to see everybody like Brady Bunch, just go up to the right hand side under the view and you could turn it back to gallery view because I spotlighted Faith. So if she is showing anything or doing anything, it makes it a little more convenient. So thank you, my friend. Hey. Okay, let's start with just a little excitement. Let's see. If you can hear. Such a good listening, Thomas. Oh, that's not right. It's so special. Oh. Let's see. They're clean, you can feel good about. No, oh, we don't like that either. <laughs> this is the viral tank top. We need to skip. Always skip, running skip, out of skip. Stock. And finally, I bought one. Okay. So, I don't know if any of you recognize this song, but everybody has a song. Or maybe not everybody, but maybe you want, want to have one. And this is mine. And when I heard it, I was in love. And yesterday, while I was shopping in the supermarket, it came on. I couldn't believe it. I do, I do want to wrap myself around you because there's just not enough time in a day, no matter where we are or where we're going. It's always such a pleasure to be able to wrap yourself around someone else and lift them up. 
And that is really basically what we do, lift others up in many different kinds of ways. So first I wanna just say thank you, Jennifer and Lo, for asking me. <laughs> we have another top, top director in Mary Kay whose name is also Faith. And when she uh, messaged me at the end of February, I said, oh no, I think, um, I think you mean Faith Gladding, right? And she said, no, nope, I mean you. I'm like, thank you very much. I'm happy to oblige. So um, first of all, I um, didn't even want to be in Mary Kay. I thought it was the stupidest, craziest, ridiculous thing I'd ever heard. And that's probably because I had just spent two years um, in graduate school finishing that. And um, I, when the woman who ran into me in a market, in a supermarket, asked me if I would ever consider doing this, I said, oh, no, 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 but thank you. And I was trying to be polite, but I know I really wasn't. And then I caught myself being just a touch condescending. So I just, you know, softened that up. And I said, oh, why? Is that what you do? And she said, yes. And I said, how long have you been doing that? And she said, five years. Well, she was a grandmother and I was very shocked. I only knew one person that used Mary Kay, but I didn't know anyone that was in Mary Kay. And so I was surprised to see the woman in front of me, you know, in, in that regard. Anyway, I said, how much money could you possibly make selling eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick? And she said, oh, it's not about the eyeshadow, blush, and the lipstick. It's about the skincare. And I said, who cares about skincare? <laughs> how um, uneducated I was. I didn't even wear anything. So what did I know? But I am grateful for her every single day. And I've always been grateful for her. In fact, that word grateful was like so popular. It's been popular for so long. We had that word grateful like way before everybody else even caught onto that concept, I think, anyway. So um, how about the extra day? Oh my God, are we lucky or what? So normally, in case you're not, not, not aware, because I saw some new names there, um, our, our month normally ends on the last day of the month, but because March 31st is on a Sunday and it's Easter, our company has given us an extra day. Well, I am thrilled and I bet all of you are too. And if not, um, you'll understand that in the next 10 days. So um, anyway, let me just see. I have like a list and I don't want to mess up. So I have a variety of different topics that I'm going to share with you. And I just want to, every time I look this way, I'm just checking the clock. Okay, just so you know. Um, so on the 1st of March, when our company created the $10 e-start, I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do first? You know, like, okay, you got to stop, you got to think and make a plan because you have to plan the work and then work the plan, as you all know. And then sometimes you got to plan that the plan may not work and then you got to go to plan C or D or E or whatever. But we've always got some great tricks up our sleeves and that's what I love about this. Um, so first thing I did is I pulled out what we call our in the olden days, our IBM report, and I had all a list of anyone that might be terminated or who are who would I who made I needed to make sure that they were equipped and prepared and ready to come to either do an order and or to come back into the company. And that was the second list I made. I started looking up all of my reports and made lists of anyone. Hmm, she loved the product or she loved the product. She had a lot of fun. And so who might want to come back in and who needed to do an order and who was on my list to book that I haven't yet. So what's all, it's all a step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step procedure. It's not a trick. It is learned behavior. Do this, do this, do this. And um, sometimes we can get distracted. You know, what is it that distracts you? I think that's one of the most important things that Im that's important to know. And that's why we work by the weekly plan sheet. But what can distract you? Take a note, make a note. What do you need to change or fix that can distract you? That's the first thing. Um, what do you need to do? Like I have a husband that likes to eat at a certain time. He wants a certain kind of food. So, you know, you got to know the men in your house, if there are any, or the girls, you know, what is the, what is the person that's in your house? What do they like best and make sure it's taken care of. There's a lot of those little itty bitty things that make your life a lot easier. Um, when, when you know that in advance. So always remember that I'm always, I'm always, um, 
encouraging my consultants. What is, what is your husband like to do? You know, what is, what is his deal? You know, we want to make sure he's happy because I know how my husband is. And I always made sure that that was the case because sometimes, you know, we, when we have a goal and we're really busy, they're like, you know, out in la la land and you're thinking, okay, is that enough? You know, um, Anyway, so let me go back. So I made a list. I started calling. I started booking. And wow, we things started happening. And so, you know, it's not over. We have like another, what, 10 days, 11 days. So you've got plenty of time to book appointments, to do a Zoom, to do a five and five, to, to do all these different kinds of things. So just make a list, make a list, make a list and make a list. Divide it in four quarters if you have to. Anyway, so um, what are, I'm going to stick in these little, I don't know, like little um, tips along the way. And one of them is the following. Um, or one of them, you know, they're just all little different things. But anyway, you know, somebody, I heard this from someone, you know, Facebook. Well, we all had that Facebook thing done before there was Facebook because we had faces to see and people to book. So remember that. We were way before Facebook, way, way, way before Facebook. We already knew what the heck was going on and we're still doing it. And it's all about the faces. It's all about the faces and it's all about the numbers. Um, thank you. Right. Absolutely. It's when I went to new director training in Dallas um, many moons ago, Mary Kay, when she came into the room, everybody was screaming and yelling. And I was trained by Mary Kay, I'm thrilled, delighted, and proud to say that. And um so she walked into the room and everybody's screaming. And then she says to everyone, isn't the same thing still true? The more spaghetti you throw against the wall, the more that sticks. And somebody said this in the, in the last four weeks, something like that. And I was shaking my head going, but that's right. I mean, you can stand in a mall on the top level and throw out a deck of cards or your own, a whole 500 business cards. Somebody might pick one up, but if you've threw out five or 10 or 20, you know, chances are nothing will happen. It's all about the numbers. How many people did you ask? How many people did you see? And that these are things that we all know, but they're just a quick reminder. So how many facial boxes? Listen, I've, I've heard about people putting out 80 facial boxes, 80, 90 even. So, <laughs> you know, really 10 or 20. Okay, that's great. But, you know, wow, 80 or 90, you need like three part-time and help to to get all those names. And that leads me to delegation and delegating, delegating, delegating. What can somebody else do that you really shouldn't be doing yourself? All right. So uh, creating teams. If you're, I remember when I was a brand new director, um, cause I was from the, originally the Ruby seminar area and my, um, I was in Ruby. So I knew Cheryl Steinman and um, 14 time million dollar director. National Sales Director Emeritus. What a what a treat. And um, so I called her up and I said, listen, I, I had debuted in the month of um, uh, September 1st. And um, I was on target for a, a, a unit club. And um, she, she gave me the idea of dividing your units into teams. And that was fantastic. And I had a little team leader for each group. You know, I carefully constructed who was gonna be on which team. And um, we almost made it. We didn't make it, but we were very, very, very close. And I was thrilled with the results anyway. So um, I had a, I, I'm just giving you a variety of ideas that have really worked for me. And I hope some of them will, you know, be, um, you know, you play off the ideas and you can take parts of one idea and make it into another. And that's some of the things I hope that you'll catch here. So one year I was $4,000 away from the court and it was June and I was talking with my senior director and she said to me, um, her, God rest her soul, Dottie Ferrigno, who's we're, so we're from the Nancy Tejan area into the Jeannie Curtis area and my senior who passed away, I was talking with her on the phone and she said, well, I said, oh my God, I'm not sure if I, I don't know. I, you know, I'm like, I was complaining. I don't know. Do I really need to do this again? Or do I really? She said, faith. Are you telling me that you're going to sit there in that audience, in that arena, and watch all those people march across the stage and not be in the court? I'm hanging up. You better figure it out and get it done. 
I was like, oh my God. All right. So somebody, sometimes you need somebody like to talk to you like that. Um, and of course that worked. So what I did is I took out paper and I made a list because I knew I would need helpers. This was maybe this almost the second week of June by the time I decided, I think. Anyway, so I made a list of all the women that I thought would be good hostesses. And the hostesses were people that I, I said, I really think about this a lot. The hostesses were people that worked in buildings. There were a lot of people. So when you know you're, when you have a great customer file, you know, you work from that as well. So that's what I did. I had about 25 names written down. I made up this flyer, win a hundred dollars. You can earn a hundred dollars. All right. So I have a flyer made. Um, I sent out envelopes that were full of samples. I dropped off cute little bags with tissue and cutie cute stuff in them, chocolates and candy and samples and samples and sales tickets and even profile cards. And I gave all these things in a bag or an envelope. I either mailed them or I gave them out in person. And I told them to collect all these orders. And this is way back before there was even a cell phone for crying out loud. But you can still do these in different kinds of ways in the social media that we have today. My God, we have everything we could ever need or want through social media. I mean, it is just incomprehensible to think what we didn't have then and what we have now, and it's just so much easier. Oh, oh gosh. Look, here we're all on Zoom. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I had two $100 cash drawings, all right? Every single person that bought something okay, would go in a drawing to earn $100 cash. And every single hostess, of which there ended up being 17, went into another drawing to win $100 cash. Well, that's how I finished selling the $4,000 the $4, in that last week. But I made sure that I was collecting all the money about five or six days before the last day of the month. And our seminar year ends on June the 30th. And that's how I achieved that court. So maybe something in there will um, help you um, get another idea off that and another idea off that. All right. So um, my next topic, my next little tidbit is from National Sales Director Emeritus Barbara Sundin, one of the most famous nationals of all time. And this was at a leadership conference that um, I heard this. And she said in her speech, you know, you just got to be willing to be inconvenienced. You got to be willing. How willing are you? How willing are you? So I am in, um, I am, one of. I, long story short, I have an offspring director because of that. Because she didn't, she wasn't there when she was supposed to be at the guest event on a Saturday and it was snowing and snowing. And I had mentioned this the night before and um, I said, well, I'll be calling you and texting you in the morning, you know, just respond, make sure you're okay. And you can still meet me at where we, where we need to go, blah, 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 blah. And she didn't respond. She didn't respond. Anyway, we get, I get to the function. I've got my, you know, everything's all set up my, because we were doing makeovers first. And then we were going to be doing, you know, the um, training. So the makeovers are where the guests are and the training for the beauty consultants and the red jackets and all the other like 25 or so directors. Um, was in another room. So finally, um, so anyway, she's not there, doesn't show up. And I am like, mm, okay, no problem. Now she is with somebody's customer in my unit who was having difficulty with her skin and who had bought a miracle set. And, you know, it was, it was a challenge for her. She, we had to switch something. So I invited her to come to this event because it was right near her house and it was perfect timing, like a week away. And anyway, so she doesn't come. And I'm at the registration table helping the other director, um, you know, greet people. And my my I finally get a response from her. She calls. Is it too late to come? I said, well, they started the makeovers about 20 minutes ago. And da, 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 you know, I made this, you know, I told her this thing. And I said, I can meet you afterward. Okay, we agree on that. And then I hang up the phone. I go into the ladies room because a whole cup of coffee got spilt on the registration table. I go to the ladies' room, I'm cleaning up stuff, and I'm looking in the mirror going, oh my God, I got to go get my stuff out of the car again. Be willing to be inconvenienced, because that little chick 
is an offspring director and she has changed the lives of women in so many places, so many times, and continues to do that. We have, um, you just have to know that people are in your life for uh, sometimes a season, others a reason, and some for a lifetime. Remember that. And she will be in our lives for a lifetime. And her name is Nisha Torres. So right tonight, they're having like this big shindig at our training center in, in, in the town. So be willing. Remember that. But in all occasions, in every kind of way. Okay. I The four groups of people I always love to work with, nurses, teachers, people in insurance, accountants, banks, banks. This is one of the things I said to her. I'm like, let's go find some banks, people in banks. I, I'm telling you, I created, here's one of my other favorite sayings, create, create the, um, create the whatever idea that produces results, create the idea that produces results. So the idea was to visit banks. So I would, I would get in my own car and I would, you know, whatever my deposits were, this is a long time ago and I still do it. Um, but if only if I get cash, you know, I I'll stop at one bank and make some cash deposit, but I'll go inside the bank. I would just go to the drive up. You can't meet anybody at the drive up except the girl there. Well, you know, I've, I've met some people that way, but I'd much rather go inside. Anyway, so um, I did this with her as well, Nasha. We went to banks and other banks and other banks. I made a list one day of all the banks in the state and started visiting them. And we'd get names here and get names there. I I would make up an excuse <laughs> just to go inside somewhere and ask a question. Be a, be a member of the group called Be a Master Asker. Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. Be a master of asking questions. Not too many. Sometimes people get worried. But you know what I mean. But be a master of asking asking that's our job asking jeez ask her right i just figured that out i mean i'm really stunned by my own self <laughs> anyway um you just never know who you're gonna meet anywhere you may change someone's life in the supermarket if you don't ask her because if you don't ask her you know that somebody else might and when you're at a big mary Kay function and you look at this girl and it's happened to me. And she comes over to you and she says, do you remember me? I met you in the wherever. And I'm like, oh my God, that's happened to me twice. So you can either be a wish I had or a glad I did. So start thinking about some of those people that you wish you would have asked and you haven't. And now is the time. Now, 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 now. Now, like don't hang up yet, but now but we're finished because I haven't even gotten anywhere yet. Okay, now, um, another, the National Court of Sales, 40,000 retail. Okay, here's a great story. So uh, one year, you know, we wore these fabulous, gorgeous, you know, sequin gowns and we're on the stage and it's all like kinds of fun. And that's where you learn the best tips. So it's really fun to be in line waiting to go across that big, fabulous stage with all these girls that have also sold 40,000 retail in a year. And, and you're asking questions and you get all these other tips. It's like, oh my God, let me record you. That's why I love Easy Voice Recorder in your phone. You should use that often, you know, because sometimes, and you know, the faintest pen, the faintest pen is mightier than the most retentive memory. So use that, okay? So um, I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom so bad because, you know, I've got on this dress and it looks like, you know, gorgeous. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to go to the bathroom. And I run to the bathroom and my ring, one of my other court rings falls into the toilet. Okay. Like they're not even going to believe this when I tell them. Falls into the toilet. I'm like, oh my God. I had to like roll on my sleeve on my gown and put my other stuff down and then like, Get it out of the toilet. I'm not going to leave it there. Oh my God. And it worked. And I came out, I got back in line. I'm like, you guys, you're just not, you're not going to believe this. The mo the craziest thing is, you know, you know, anything that you can get when you're talking to somebody, just ask them, just ask them, ask her, ask her. 
hey, you know, has anyone, have you ever tried any, have you ever, are you somebody's customer in Mary Kay? Because gosh, you have the, you have the best smile. I just love to offer you a makeover. Have you ever tried the skincare before with Mary Kay, with the, with the Mary Kay product line? Because if you ask them if they just use Mary Kay, you, they'll say, yeah, but you're thinking skincare and they're thinking eyeliner and lipstick. No, you have asked them, be more specific so that they understand. Have you ever tried this skincare before with Mary Kay? You know, it's an anti-aging formula. You know, if she's really young, you might not want to ask her that, but you know. All right. So I'm going to go on to my next thing, um, which is, do you have a word for the year or a year for the day or a word for the month? So I got all mine and I would keep them right by my desk. Is this going backwards? Okay, if it is, that one is laser focused. This one is how many, you know, how many... Can you ask in a day how many have you asked today? Both sides. Pass it on. You know, the thing that you are avoiding is the thing you need to do the most. The thing you're avoiding is the thing you need to do the most. This was my word from a couple of years ago <laughs> with intention. That was good. And last night I came up with another one, a new one. And that was dare. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Okay. All right. I did not learn this as a new beauty consultant, but I learned it from another director. Really powerful. And I don't have my chat on because if I was reading that, I, you know, so you're going to have to wait for me to answer any questions if you post them. Okay. All right. So when you're brand new, if you're a new beauty consultant, I always had them make, oh, you can't even see this. It's a big circle. It's a big circle. Ah. And it looks like a wheel, like a, like a wheel from a covered wagon kind of thing. All right. And then you're going to have them, you know, because you, everybody wants a list, right? Everybody starts with a list and you're going to have them make the lines. Okay. This might be the longest part of what I share. You're gonna have to make the lines and I'm, I got two windows, one on each side of me. So that's why it's so bright. And I'll post this picture later. And you're gonna have her write all the names of anyone that she thinks is gonna be a hostess. So the first thing I'm always gonna ask for and share with, which is the most important is who's gonna help? Cause you can't do it all by yourself. Sure, you can have a class or two, you know, at the beginning by yourselves because I did that. And, um, but, it's much easier and much faster and much smarter if you find the other girl to be the hostess. Because why? Because they're going to invite all the people. All right. And then you're not doing it all, which is kind of silly because it's hard, harder. But that's OK. I had my my first class with one hundred and seventy three dollars. No, one hundred and thirty seven dollars. How do you like that? And, you know, it was all me, call, me calling all the people. But when the other person does it, it's so much smarter, right? So then I would have, I would make believe, okay, so this is Carol. Tell me about Carol. What do you like about her? You know, um, you know, what does she do? You know, does she have three kids? Is she married? This and that. And I would learn, get to learn, I would learn a little bit about that girl because that would help me understand the kind of person that she was. And I could help the new consultant, ex, you know, share I could help the new consultant by telling her what that girl might be interested in. So if she was a hairdresser, maybe she was a nurse, maybe she was a teacher, you know, what are her hot buttons? What would she, and what do they want for free? So that's another thing. What do those people want for free? What do they like? If, who likes to look in the mirror? Who likes to go to the party? Who likes to be at the party? Who's always looking in the mirror? I mean, tell me about these people. And so, okay, we would go around and there would be, eight people okay because you know book eight to whole five now in this day and age it may not be classes it might be zoom it might be a, a private facebook group party it might be party with me it might be whatever whatever five and five we have so many ways to make the money today i mean there's no reason and it's all a matter of just learning it basically so I would write, okay, so this class could be like, let's just say she invites eight, um, four come and two buy. Okay, so I would just make up a number. Let's say it's 200. Then the next one could be like, 
150. The third one may cancel. So I've got all these names and all these numbers around the wheel, just an example. And so when I did a list, when I updated this last night, it was 125, 200, 600, 250. So why am I doing this? Because some people learn by vision, visual. Some people learn by hearing better. Some people look by watching. I learn better by all of that. Okay. Because I'm in like three, I'm thinking three things at one time. Before there was a word ADHD, I already knew about all of that. And there wasn't even a definition of it. Okay. I was just, I knew that. And so I had to create all kinds of systems for myself way ahead. And then when that book came out that said, thank God I'm not lazy, stupid, or crazy. I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God, that's me. That is so me. But I learned how to compartmentalize. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to get it, but that's okay. Life ain't over yet. So then I would list, this is all the money that's a possibility. Maybe it'll be lower and I always go low. I don't go high. I always go lower, but my goodness, all these different ways that we can use the technology that we have today. Eno, Eno Inoya, what did she do? Like a hundred five and fives? And she broke like, I don't know how many different records. The five and five explaining five products to somebody one-on-one -on -one was her best tactic for her was her tactic that what she'd created for her. But this idea of five explaining five products in five minutes was genius. I mean, those, that year we, every window and every door was open to us in 2020, everyone, some people couldn't handle it. I could like, I was so excited. I'm like, Oh my God. We could sit here and look cute and get cuter and invite other people to join us. I was all over that. My God, we ordered, we had so many new consultants, but not everybody was able to capture that. Not everybody was in love with that and that's okay. But there's so many other ways, so many other ways for you to have an income. Don't ever, ever give up unless you're really ready um, to go into some other things and that's okay. People do that. It's all right. But I will tell you the lessons that are learned here are life lessons. They're not just how to sell a lipstick, which is what I did not understand at all. And I'm like, I am not going to go around telling people I'm in Mary Kay after I just spent two years in graduate school and finally got straight A's. Are you kidding me? They're going to think I'm insane. But no, this is the PhD of life right here, right now. So don't waste any time. Make the list. Who do you think would be great? Who do you think needs to get cheered up just to have a makeover? I, you know, we're, we've been in Mary Kay so long, meant some of us, and some of us not so long. But all I can tell you is you might just be the person that helps somebody else um, feel prettier in one day, in one hour. You have no idea the amount of um, love somebody might need until you run into her, even by accident. So be a great listener and then ask the questions. I want to make sure I covered everything. Um, the look of the month. Oh gosh. You know, so Monica Gabo, God bless that girl. So, wow. So I did this in February. I sent out a hundred of these sampler strips. This one is from actually last summer because I didn't have any left. So there's like the look of the month, you know, it could be the little compact with the four eyeshadows. Um, and she has a, she has the, um, uh, the templates already done. Um, and so I added a couple extra colors because, you know, I don't like to just play. I like to make sure that they're, whoever I'm sending them to, they like them. So I sent out one to every consultant with a New Year's card. And the New Year's card is a picture of my family. I send them out all year long to my customers. But this, my, they were like so excited. You know, um, my senior director, I have to stop after this. Let me make sure I got everything. I'm going to look at my list. Said to me, treat your consultants like their customers. It's true because lots of, cus lots of consultants don't use the skincare. They <laughs> like buy all these other things. It's crazy. But remember how many... Um, I think we have like almost 40 seals of good housekeeping seal of approval, almost 40. Um, how's my time? 
I don't know how my time is. Because I have 30 minutes right now and it's 25 up, right? Okay. You want me to? I want another, I have another idea here. It's in front of me and I don't want to forget. And that is for those of you who are on Facebook <clears throat> and you post something and you and you go and you check, you know, you have to have a certain number. The algorithms they change all the time. And so when the numbers are are high, it, it gets seen more, as you know, or maybe you don't know. Well, so I made a list of all the people that saw something that I did one day, and I was really surprised. So I did all these screenshots because I didn't feel like writing them all down. And then I looked at them, and then I wrote down all the names. Okay, then I got categories. All right, so these are all the names. I was like, let's just say there's 30 names on this page. Um, did I send her the, the sampler strip? Did I book her? Did I, um, did she have a Zoom meeting? Could she be a hostess? Um, did I interview her? You know, what's what's happening with that? I mean, I got check marks. I have always been a list maker. Listen, when I was in college and even in graduate school, I had to read and study, read and study. Then I had to make, a note, get a notebook and then highlight the notes and then take those notes take those notes and then put them on big index cards and then highlight the index cards. I had to study. I think that's where all this comes from. But there's, um, everybody has their own way of doing things and that whatever works for you, whatever works for you, but try not to spend too much time with paper and pen and thinking that you need to do all of that. The main thing is make the list of names, call them up, and offer them makeovers, ask them what you really want. I've been thinking about you and thinking about you and thinking about you. And if I don't call and ask you this question, I'm going to be a big wimp. And they're going to say, oh, oh, that's okay. Ask me. So when I was new, somebody wasn't very nice to me. And I thought, how am I going to make the rest of these phone calls? So I started calling up people saying, I have something really fun and excited to tell you, but I swear, if you laugh at me, I'm going to cry. And they're like, no, no, that's okay. <laughs> you can ask me. So I created something like, um, I can't even remember the phrase of whatever it's called. Um, that's right. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm wearing a red feather boa. I always wear a feather boa. For those of you who don't really know me, I'm famous for wearing this feather boa. It was given to me by my adopted director who was a high D personality and I'm the high off the chart, high I off the chart. And I would, uh, I felt like we were a great pair because I would soften her up and she would toughen me up. And that happened a lot. And um, at my director debut, um, she gave me a gift and it was a purple feather bow. And I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? And she says, you have to put it on and make your speech. I'm like, really? Honestly? Well, that was such a big hit because um, everywhere I went with that boa, I was making a speech and here and making a speech there and making a speech here. And the first speech that I ever made with a feather bow on the stage was at career conference, my very first year as a director. And I got on the stage and I played that music of I'm so excited and there you went. It was a hit and I've worn one ever since. So what is your signature? And how much love have you left when you leave the room? It's not what you took away. It's what you left for the others to remember, to be inspired by. I think that's it. Oh, Brynn, that was amazing. So many fabulous ideas. I'm sure you all have a million notes, just like I do. Um, <clears throat> oh, what else can you say? Ah, fantastic. That's it. It was amazing. Thank you so, so much for your heart. I loved everything you said. I'm so glad we recorded this because I'm sure I missed some things. And we can go back, right? Um, yes, excellent. Yes. Um, I just want to thank you all so much for making this lunch and learn so successful and passing along because there's so many women who need that, you know. Is there anybody that has a quick question or wants to say anything to Faith? We have a couple quick minutes before we have to go. I don't want to miss me. I think I've seen all of them. I've been trying to kind of follow along in the chat as we've been going. So that's how I know I probably missed some things while I was taking notes, but I'll get them. <laughs> It's okay. Okay. Well, gals, I hope you have an amazing, amazing Thursday. And listen, max out. 
So all the way, be all in, all in. Don't stop. All in. Yeah, don't, don't tippy toe, just go all in. Thank you, Faith, so much for- You're welcome. Just all the things. Lisa, I'm sorry, were you wanting to say something? Oh, okay, I just saw you wait, so I just want to make sure you didn't need something. So thank you so much, my friends. Faith, you're incredible. Welcome.